What's going on guys, Briar here. Today we're gonna to be talking about about $600 worth of Thrustmaster, what I can only describe as immersive gaming gear. And I got a couple of things, caveats about this video before we even get started. First of all, Thrustmaster sent me all of this equipment for the purposes of this review. I didn't pay for any of it. So when I'm talking about it, you should know that I didn't pay for this, Thrustmaster sent it. Second of all, there will be no edits to this video. Unfortunately, I hurt my back. Uh, I cannot sit in front of a computer for long enough to edit a video. I can stand here, I can lay in bed, but I cannot sit in front of a computer, so we're gonna be doing this in one take. I'm gonna be showing you all of this gear, and uh, that's how, however this video gets recorded is how it's going up on YouTube. Now, with all that being said, I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of the state of gaming as it stands. When I was younger, one of the coolest things about being playing a video game was kind of immersing yourself in pretending to be what you were in a video game. So for instance, you know, you might get a driving wheel if you were playing a driving game. You may get a flight stick if you're playing a flying game. Games, getting a great game controller was less about trying to be as good at the game as you could be as it was about immersing yourself in that game to try and somehow trick your brain into feeling like you're actually doing the action that is being portrayed in the video game. So for instance, if you're in a driving game, what really helps about this setup is that it actually makes you feel more like you're driving. You had a VR headset and some pedals and a shifter and all of a sudden, you know, you're driving a Ferrari as fast as you can in a pretty immersive environment. You know, the only thing really missing is like G-forces. That's something that I feel like has been lost over the last several years is I don't see too many people talking about immersive types of accessories as much as they do about accessories that help you perform better. Uh, a mouse with lower latency or a, a monitor with lower latency, you know, like um, all of these newer accessories, scuff gaming for existence with paddles on the back of the controller allows you to aim and reload or aim and knife somebody at the same time without ever taking your thumb off of the stick. That's not really what this stuff is about. Now, obviously having a steering wheel and pedals and a shifter, it can definitely help you be a better driver. But I found at least until I practiced quite a bit, I was a worse driver. For instance, if I was playing Forza 4 Horizons, I think it's Horizons, uh, I wasn't as good as I was with a stick. Until I actually practiced, I actually did eventually surpass my skill with a stick, with a wheel, but that's not what it was about. It was more about having more fun with the game because I actually felt like I was driving. Um, and that's really what this stuff is all about. This stuff can be pretty expensive. Like I said, there's about $600 worth of equipment on this table right now. And Thrustmaster was kind enough to send this over, which I was thrilled about uh, because I really do like this type of gaming, that immersive type of gaming. But I just want to kind of put that out there. It's a weird thing that's happened in the gaming industry is that accessories are more about multiplayer performance and getting the best kill death ratio as opposed to uh, being immersive and tricking your brain into feeling like you are actually doing the action that is being portrayed on the screen. And I think that's what makes this stuff so brilliant. Uh, and especially this guy. So let's start talking about what's actually on this table here. Uh, first of all, the T150 Pro is a racing wheel and pedal set that comes all in one box. It's about 200 bucks. I think it depends on uh, where you get it. I'll put links to it down in the description to all this stuff so you can check it out on Amazon or wherever. Um, and we can actually, you can actually shop for it yourself. I think, I'm sure the prices change all the time, especially around the holidays like it is now. Uh, this thing is actually really cool. This worked with the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 3, and a PC. Uh, and it's got a lot of really cool features. First of all, if we pick it up here, it's got two plugs in it. One goes to your console or PC via USB, and one is actually just a regular wall socket plug because it does take regular wall power. And what you'll notice when you pick it up right off the bat is it's actually really heavy because it's got a big motor in here that controls the force feedback. So the, the wheel, depending on what the car is doing in the game and what the game is telling the wheel to do, can actually push back against you. Um, and it's a fairly convincing thing. You don't have 
you cannot feel G-forces in a driving game, obviously. Uh, but once you start getting used to the force feedback and how it's implemented into a game and on this wheel, it starts to simulate grip for you. You can actually feel what the car is doing based on the feedback that's given to you audi audibly, visually, and through feel with the wheel. And I thought that was really cool. The wheel here is actually very convincing. The motor is quite strong. Um, and the whole build of this wheel setup, it feels good. Um, I've actually used things like this in the past, going back years and years and years. And this is by far the highest quality setup I've ever used myself. Um, the grips are made out of rubber. Uh, they feel good. The wheel is smallish. It's about 10 inches. Um, I'll put a little bit of footage of me actually using this on stream. And uh, one of the comments I heard was, the wheel looks way too small for you. And yeah, I mean, it's smaller than a wheel that you'd see in a real car, but it also needs to fit in your closet, needs to fit on your desk. And when you're using it, uh, it felt fine to me. There's plenty of buttons around here. Uh, one of the things I noticed is most of the buttons are branded for the PlayStation systems. Um, so on PC, you just kind of got to get used to what the buttons are on PC. But for the most part, in most of the games I played, uh, you were able to control the entire game with just the buttons and there's a D-pad uh, on the wheel itself. So you didn't have to pull out a separate controller or use the keyboard uh, unless you just forgot what they did, uh, which is really nice. On PC, you do have to install drivers for this. Uh, you got to be careful. Uh, quick note is there's a switch on the side of the controller here that you can switch it between PS4 and PS3. Uh, when installing the drivers, make sure the switch is set to PS3. Uh, otherwise, it will not install the drivers correctly. You'll have to uninstall the drivers, uh, switch it to PS3, plug it back in, reinstall the drivers. I did have a little bit of trouble with that at first. The manual tells you to do this. I don't know. I just missed it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really like the driving wheel. Now, the driving wheel all by itself also has paddle shifters on it. I think you can see them there. The paddle shifters are actually really nice. They seem to be made out of metal. They're solid. They make a nice positive clicking. I'm going to let that nice positive clicking sound. And they feel good to use. Uh, if you're using a car that would normally have paddle shifters to it, it's very immersive to actually be able to use these paddle shifters, whether it's an automatic or you use the clutch pedal on the pedal systems. Um, overall, I gotta say, I was really impressed by the wheel. The mounting system took a little bit of getting used to here. Uh, it uses kind of a clamp system to clamp onto a desk and then a screw here. And all of this, all of this is kind of made out of plastic. So I was a little afraid of breaking it when I first set it up. But once I set it up, I found that it stayed on my desk very stable. Uh, it wasn't moving around, but you know, if you torque on it enough, you'll be moving your desk around quite a bit. So, you know, make sure your desk is up to the up to the task of being torqued on by a wheel that's, you know, you're really going ham on if you're getting into the game. Uh, I got to say, I, I did really like this wheel quite a bit. The rubber grips felt good. The paddle shifters felt good. The buttons, which you don't use a ton, they feel fine. Uh, and, you know, I don't love the mounting mechanism, but it was, you know, once it was in place, it held it in fine. Uh, if it was made out of metal, uh, I'd probably like it a little better uh, just because like, it'd feel a little more solid. Uh, next, the pedals that come with it. I really like these pedals. Um, there's not much to say about them. Obviously, a three pedal setup, so you can use a clutch. Um, and the cool thing about the pedals, actually, is that each pedal has different resistance to it. So the gas is way easier to push than the brake. You can see the break I'm actually struggling to push it down with a finger um, but the clutch is kind of no problem to push down with a finger and that kind of again it adds to the immersiveness of using this thing in a game I really enjoyed this uh, a couple of notes that I didn't love about it was that I have a carpet in my office so I was using it in carpet and there's no real way to kind of keep it still in a carpet I actually had to I put a box so it was hitting up a box and the box was up against the wall and that kind of kept it in place for me. Uh, it'd be nice if there's some kind of like a carpet grabber mechanism. Uh, I'm sure Thrustmaster has looked into this kind of stuff and you know, they can tell you what the pluses and minuses of that. 
on a floor i did also try it on a floor i just pulled up the carpet to see how these rubber pads would stick on the floor the rubber pads actually stuck pretty well to the floor they, they're not sticky but they're rubber uh, and they didn't move around the, the weight of my foot resting on the thing uh, was enough to keep it in place while i was hitting the pedals uh, on carpet it did slide a little bit so i had to use a box to make it slide um, I really like that the pedals themselves are made out of metal. I used it mostly with socks on instead of shoes, uh, but it was comfortable. Uh, the spacing of the brake and the gas pedal was such that you could actually heel toe in this in a pretty convincing way. Um, so if you are, you know, if you just want to learn how to heel toe a standard transmission car, um, you can definitely do that. Uh, because of the spacing on here. Now this thing actually hooks up directly to the wheel uh, when you're using it with the wheel. And you know, all said, one of the things about this was that all these wires create like kind of the setup mess. It's worth it because you get to play, you know, a driving game with, you know, a steering wheel and real pedals and everything. Uh, but man, like, I don't know if there's some way that they can get all this stuff to be wireless. Probably not. But good Lord, it'd be awesome if they could. Because setting it all up on your desk and then taking it down, setting it back up, taking it down. I totally understand why people have dedicated rigs for driving games. Like full racing seats and stuff. Because setting this stuff up, it's like, do I want to play this game? Well, it's going to take me 20 minutes to get all this stuff set up. Maybe not. So... You know, it's it's a thing. Uh, you, you know, you got to plug it into the wall. You got to plug it in in to your computer. You got to wire up the pedals to the to the steering wheel. It, it's a process, and it does take some time. And sometimes I found that, yeah, I'll, I'll just play something else instead. Uh, so I gotta say, T150, all all together, really really happy with the product. But I gotta tell you the party piece of the whole driving apparatus was this guy this is the tha i think it's tha it might be tha8a uh this is a shifter that costs quite a pretty penny but i've got to tell you it made the whole experience so much better this is a really heavy piece of kit um when you pick it up right away you're gonna realize oh this thing is like mega uh it's all metal it feels like it's all metal. It feels like it's very solidly built. The shift knob is very good. This has a shifter that I would say is better than in my car. Uh, I have a manual transmission car. Uh, if the shifter was this good in my car, I'd be pretty happy about it. <laughs> you can see it's all metal gated. You can actually transform this to be either H or sequential. So you just kind of tap it up and it'll push back down for a sequential transmission um it really feels awesome this piece is pretty expensive uh but if you're into driving games especially like uh if you get into like vr driving where you really want to kind of feel the immersion of uh being in the driver's seat and feel that shifter like it's just you know it's the difference between a manual transmission and an automatic transmission if you like driving manual transmissions this thing just makes the whole set setup feel so cool. And the fact that it's so quality, so well built, um, just makes it feel like it, it's not going to break anytime soon. You can, you know, you can really put it into gear and it feels like you're putting a car into gear, especially when you hear the engine sounds and the revs uh, over the speakers or over your headphones. Also the mounting mechanism. I mean, it's, it's a really easy mounting mechanism. Obviously it's just a screw and a clamp. Uh, that screws onto your desk. It's very easy to do. Once it's on there, it feels very solid. Again, you know, if you're putting this on a quarter inch piece of plywood, you might want to be careful that the desk is going to hold up to the torque that you're going to put it under. Um, but the mounting mechanism is awesome. I wish the mounting mechanism from this was on here because it's just a really easy mounting mechanism to use. It's very easy to understand. And, you know, once it's on there, it feels very, very solid. Uh, and this thing is just. It's an extraordinary piece of kit. Like I really, the the setup to me is amplified by three or four times by adding this, even though it, it basically doubles the cost of the whole system. Um, so really, you know, to me driving a manual transmission car is so much more engaging than driving a uh, automatic. Uh, even with the paddle shifters, having, you know, in games, 
Uh, for instance, if I was playing Forza Horizon, I'd be driving a car like a Kia Stinger that doesn't offer a manual transmission in real life, but it was really fun to s scream around town in Forza Horizon with a Kia Stinger and a manual transmission. Like it was, it was really fun. This piece of kit is really cool. And uh, you know, if you're thinking about getting into driving games or if you wanna get a racing wheel, I'd highly, highly recommend um, checking out the THA because to me, it made the whole system so much more engaging and so much more fun to play with. Uh, next, I wanted to talk a little bit about, this one is called the T1600M. This is the FCS Hotas. So this comes with two pieces in the box. Uh, it's got a joystick and it's got the Hotas, which I can't remember what it means, even though the stream told me about three times yesterday. Uh, but basically these are flight controls. So you never have to take your hands off of either the joystick or the uh, controller on the left-hand side. And I gotta tell you, this was pretty fun. <laughs> I played mostly Rogue Galaxy, uh, Rogue, Rogue Galaxy Outlaw, Rogue Galaxy Rebel. Now I can't remember the name of the game. Uh, and the difference between playing that game with a controller and playing it with a full flight stick is, again, it's the difference between feeling like you are playing a video game and feeling like you are flying a spaceship through space. Um, I find it to be incredibly more fun and more immersive, uh, especially in single player games, to have these controllers. Now, I would say that this setup did not feel as solidly built as the driving system. Uh, and in a way, I think it doesn't really have to be. Uh, it feels a little more plasticky, it feels lighter weight for sure. Uh, there's not as much metal in the builds, but you know, it's it's a gentler experience than like whipping around with a wheel uh, as opposed to you know flying smoothly with a joystick. There are a ton of buttons and customization options. The software for the Thrustmaster T1600M is pretty in depth. Uh, you can really customize a ton of what the buttons do. Um, you can really customize, you know, you can basically simulate any activity a keyboard or mouse setup could do or a controller can do uh, on this. And then it's all already pre-configured for a lot of games in the game software itself. Um, it lights up around the base here, but that's about it for lighting. Um, the buttons are, it's kind of crazy how many buttons it has. You know, it's got a hat up on the top. It's got three buttons as well up on the top. Obviously a trigger. It's got a ton of buttons on the side here, six buttons on each side, and then a slider that could be used for throttle control or rudder control. I don't know what you'd wanna use that for, but I'm sure you could customize it to be just about whatever you want. Um, you know, it, it doesn't have a metal base, it has a plastic base. I didn't find that it moved around on my desk. I had it actually just sitting on a mouse pad uh, and it does have rubber feet and it didn't move around while I was playing with it. The Hotas uh, is kinda neat. It looks like it's got sliders here, but it's all like internal. Again, it's plastic, it's fairly lightweight. Um, it plugs in via USB. This has rubber pads. This did slide around on my desk a little bit while I was using it. Uh, mainly, if I really kind of slammed it forward, like uh, for throttle control purposes, uh, maybe I pull back because I wanna slow down and jam it forward to speed up. I did find this would move around on my desk a little bit. Um, so if this were made with like a metal platform or maybe some more uh, rubber pads on it, it might be a little uh, heavier and more stable. Uh, other than that, I found it to be really engaging to use. There's a ton of buttons to use on this thing. There's this kind of fly switch here. There's a bunch of, this is a uh, kind of like a full on joystick like you'd find on a Xbox 360 or PS3 controller. 360 or PS3, what am I? like eight years ago, <laughs> a PS4 or uh, an Xbox One controller. There's smaller buttons here. There's some switches. There's some four-way hats over on this side, another button. Really, you can you get a lot of control options uh, available to you that, with these. And you know, it does, it really does allow you to never have to take your hands off of the joystick in Hotas, which is amazing. Look, you guys know I'm big on VR. One of the problems with VR is that while you're completely immersed in an environment in, in the world that you're playing, right? You're, you're completely immersed in your game. 
you cannot see anything around you. So using a keyboard, using a mouse is really, it's really hard because if you take your hand off of the keyboard or mouse for a second, you can't find it again. You kind of got to like feel around for it. Oh, there it is. And then you can start controlling again. With this stuff, because it stays static on your desk, your hands will just naturally learn where it is and you can just grab it uh, that way. Also, if you're playing a game in VR, a lot of the times this stuff is just represented in VR. Like the joystick's not gonna look exactly like this joystick in VR, but it's gonna look like a joystick. And you, when you grab it, you're gonna feel, you're gonna see your hand moving a joystick or using the hotel. It's like, it's a really cool thing. It's very immersive. Um, one of my favorite games to play in VR right now is No Man's Sky. And one of the projects I'm gonna be working on in the future is trying to get this working with No Man's Sky because flying a spaceship in No Man's Sky in VR is kind of like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. <laughs> and uh, I'd really like to be able to use this setup with it instead of trying to use, um, VR controllers to kind of simulate a joystick in the cockpit. If I could just use an actual joystick, that'd be pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, one more thing about this is that I haven't had a flight stick, a joystick, hooked up to a computer probably since the late 90s. And one of the things I was incredibly happy to see was that the joystick twists. I don't know if you guys remember the old Microsoft Sidewinder joystick. Uh, but it used to do that, and this made me incredibly happy. You can use this for rudder control or to change your viewpoint in a game. Um, I think in Mech Warrior 2, way back in the day, that's how old I am, uh, you, you used to be able to actually stay running in a straight line and then move the stick, rotate the stick to change the direction your mech was looking so you could fire in a specific direction while continuing to walk that way, kind of strafe. And it was a very natural way to do it, to do that, where it's an unnatural thing to do in a game. Uh, at least it was in Mech Warrior 2. I'm actually looking forward to Mech Warrior 5 checking this thing out. Um, look, this stuff is, it's kind of a, it, it's under a funny product category. Um, you know, it's, it's not a graphics card that's going to make your games run better. It's an accessory that's going to make games more enjoyable. Um, if you like that type of game, if you like driving games, if you like Forza, if you like Dirt Rally, if you like iRacing, um, you know, like this stuff is really immersive and it feels like you're driving a car. If you like flying games, you know, this is going to make you feel like you're flying a spaceship. For me, it's less about making me better at a game than it is about tricking my brain into think I'm actually doing the action that's in that game. When I'm using this stuff, it feels like I'm driving a race car all over the place or flying a spaceship all over the place. And that is really cool. So thank you to Thrustmaster for sending this stuff over for review. I really like this stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun to use. Um, I'm gonna put links down in the description to Amazon affiliate links. If you buy it through those, I think I get a small kickback. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I'm sorry I couldn't edit the video. I'm sure it's a little bit rambly. Um, I'm going to try and put a little bit of uh, video of me actually using this stuff um, interspersed, but my, my editing capabilities right now are very limited, so I apologize for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.